everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial using the new morphe and Jaclyn Hill palette I am definitely excited to be using it I feel that the colors in here are just absolutely amazing and I honestly feel like I don't even need another palette in my life so for this video I've already did my eyebrows I just used a brow powder from the brow gal and I also primed and set my eyelids I just used a concealer and a regular uh, single shadow from wet and wild in the shade brulee and I've also put some tape along my eyes along my eyes and that's just to give me a sharp edge when I do the eyeshadow it's just to, to help keep everything clean and neat and put together so if you want to see the look that I create using this gorgeous palette, then please just keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to go in with this color right here and I'm just going to put it in my crease as my transition shade. The only thing that I have to say about this palette that I was really disappointed is that I didn't get a color sheet with my order. It's not that big of a deal. I know the shades are online, the colors are online, I can easily find them there. But I wanted to get everything that I had paid for, so that was just a bummer. Um, I would just leave the names of the colors that I use listed in the description box below. So we're going to take that shade on a fluffy crease brush, and I'm just going to put that into my crease. And what I can tell right off the bat by using these colors is that... They are definitely pigmented, but they're not so pigmented that once you drop the brush, um, you know, there's just a ton of color. Um, what I really like is that you can definitely build them up. So I am just putting this in my crease um, in circular motions towards the outer edge and then just dragging it forward with whatever is left on the brush. And then I'm going to take the color that is right next to it, which is just the next darker color. It's just a shade up than that one. And just kind of put that in the same area that we just put down that first shade. And I'm just going in with a light hand, again, keeping it pretty high. And just because I want to build up the color to the intensity that I want. I don't want to go in with so much product and then... You know, you can't really take away, so. And then I'm just going to drag whatever is left onto the lid. Okay, then next I am going to go in with this red color right here. I just think this is an absolute gorgeous color. And I am going to take that on another fluffy brush and just put that right underneath where we just put those transition colors and focus it on the outer part of the eyelid and then just drag it forward and again just keeping a light hand because you can always build up the intensity of the color and again we're just going to do the same thing on the other eye okay and then we're gonna go in again with that same brush that we used first and that second transition color again I will leave the colors that I use down below and then we're just gonna kind of just blend everything together So I'm just going to pick up this color right here on a flat shader brush and I'm just going to work that all over the lid. Um, so I'm just going to take some setting spray and put that color on my brush again and then just spritz it with some spray and just see if that will build up the... There we go, which is a pretty light color, so that's why it wasn't really showing up. That's much better. So we're just going to pack that all over the lid. 
Okay, and then I am going to go in with another fluffier brush and I'm just gonna take that deeper like looks like a like a red wine color and I'm just gonna put that in the outer part of the eye just to kind of build up intensity okay and I'm just gonna take that same color on a smaller more defined crease brush and it's just so kind of pack it in more in the outer part of the eye and then just blend inward towards the lid and we're gonna go in again with that first red color that we had used and kind of just put that back on that smaller brush and just define the upper crease area a little more. I know the eyes look a little funky right now, but for one, that's because we still have the tape on the eyes and it's because the rest of the face is not done. So it looks like it's just a hot mess, but we are going to make it work and everything will all come together once we complete the rest of the face okay and then i'm going to pick up that lighter pink color and just add that to the lid and it's just to brighten up the lid color just on the inner part of the lid Just gonna take that crease brush and just blend everything together blend these edges together okay, and then we're gonna take that deep wine color again and just focus that on the outer part just to give some definition to the outer part of the eye For the brow bone, I'm just going to go in with the single eyeshadow from Wet n Wild in the shade Brulee. That's the shade that I use to set my eyelids. The reason why I'm going in with a matte brow bone color is just because there's a lot going on on the eyes and I have the shimmer lid and I kind of just don't want to take away from the eyelid. Okay, so I just removed the tape and kind of cleaned up the edges a little bit more with a makeup remover wipe and now I've already moisturized my face I'm just gonna go in with primer and I'm using the Smashbox photo finish primer and I'm just gonna put that in my t-zone area around my nose my forehead and my chin and kind of just rub it in And then whatever is left on my hands, I just rub it in the rest of my face. I am going to go in with foundation now. I am using the CoverGirl Healthy Elixir Foundation in the shade 705. I've really been liking this foundation. I would say it's a medium to full coverage foundation. It really sets really well into my skin. So I kind of I just take it on my finger and I just tap it in, kind of warming up the product. And then I'm going to go in with my Ofra sponge and I'm just going to blend that out. going to go in with concealer I like to use two concealers they're both from Maybelline one is the fit me concealer in the shade fair and I just put that on my inner corner 
just because it's a little more lighter and brightening. So I just put that there. And then I take my Maybelline Better Skin in the shade Light and I just put that on the rest of my under eyes. Just blend everything out. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now. Okay, and then to just set everywhere that I put concealer, I'm just gonna go in with. Okay, and then to set the rest of my face, I'm just going to go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm just going to put some on the brush and just dab in the rest of the face. I'm just going to take my Royal and Lang Nicole Contour Brush and I'm just going to pat in the No Color Powder under the eyes and just wipe away. Okay, so now that we have set our face, we're just going to go in and finish up our lower lash line. And I am just going to take this red color on a dual ended Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. And I'm just going to run that all along the lower lash line. Kind of connecting the two shadows together. And then I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm just going to take that lighter transition color, that second transition color that we had took. I am just going to run that on the bottom of the color that we just put down. And then I'm going to pick up this deeper wine red color on a smudger brush and just smudge that along the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take some of that wine color as well on that same brush and just drag it upward on the along the upper lash line, along the outer half of the upper lash line. And then we're going to curl our lashes. go in with some mascara. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Okay, and then to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to mix the first two colors basically. To finish off the face, I'm going in to this contour palette by IBY Beauty and I'm just going to take the first contour shade and just contour my face with that.
And then to kind of fix the helmet head that I just gave myself, I'm just taking the Ofra sponge and just blending over that. And then to just bronze up the face, I'm just going to go in with this Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Dolce. And I'm just going to take that on a fluffy powder brush, roll it around, and then just tap off the excess and just go over where we put the contour to kind of just warm everything up. So for blush, I'm going to go in with this Milani blush in the shade T Rose. It's just a nice pinky blush. And I'm just going to take the brush that we use for the bronzer and just take that um, take that blush on it. And then I'm going to go in with my Flower Beauty palette. And I'm just going to take the first two colors, which is the white and the pink one, and just mix them together and pop that on the high points of my cheeks, my nose, my chin, and my forehead. And then I just take my big Real Techniques powder brush and just kind of blend everything together. And then for lips, I'm going to go in with the lip liner from Wet n Wild in the shade Never Petal Down and just line my lips with that. Okay, now that my lips are aligned, I'm going to go in with my lipstick. It is from Estee Lauder. It is in the shade Powerful, and I'm just going to apply that over the lip liner. Okay, and just because the lips are just a little too pinky, I am going to take a new lip gloss, and I'm going to take my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Fortune Cookie and just apply that right on top. This is how the look came out. I really love how it came out. I love the eyes paired with the lips. So I will leave my other video right here on the side. Check it out if you like. Also, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And thank you so much for watching. God bless you today and every day. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.